Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of RPG Maker MV. In our last episode, we finished up some of the little events inside of Grug's house and, uh, I'm sorry, the exterior of Grug's house and inside of Grug's house, so that people could interact with some of the objects on the walls, give them something to click on, uh, or hit the action button on. What we need to do now is we need to design the first town that Grug's going to go to. So what we're going to do is we're going to need a new map tied to the overworld here. And we're going to go ahead and new. We're going to call this town one. What do we want to call this town? What's a good name for a town? Uh, the good name for this town is going to be... Oh, let's see if the case for Waterworld has anything. A dry land. Deacon. Um, we'll go with the town of Deacon. Why not? It's, it's it'll work. The town of Deacon. Town of Deacon. Why not? All right. So this is going to be an outside map again, because it's going to be a town. And we don't want any looping. Uh, we need this map to be pretty big. So let's go. Let's go a 60 by 30. Let's start with that. Uh, and then there's no enemies in town here. So let's take a look, see what that looks like. We might not need it to be this big. We'll figure that out later. So again, the first thing we remembered is we don't want to do right to the edge with any of these interior maps because it messes up some of the tiles. So let's start with the exterior. So our town, it's going to be on grass. It's going to a grass base for our town is what I think. So we'll get this first little section here. Let's zoom out a bit, please, so I can kind of get a better idea for what we're doing. And we're going to go all the way to the very edge, but we're going to leave that last square available. Now, we might not need all this. We might trim this down, but this is just going to be our starting palette for the map. So the first thing is, when you walk into the town, where do you walk in? Uh, let's have some paths. And I kind of like these, this, this path with grass around it that we use for Grug's house. So we're going to say that you enter town. Let's be a little non-standard, shall we? Um, let's say you enter town. Oh, oh, let's just do it from the bottom. Never mind. Let's just go bog standard. So you enter town, and we've got two rows. Uh, we got a street that goes like this. I kind of like the first town in Final Fantasy a lot, Corneria. It always sticks in my head when I go to make a town, so it's hard to do anything. I always want to put a street and a little fountain here in the center, and then an inn right here, and then the item shop, weapon shops here, and the item shop here. That just that's the layout for a town. So, but instead, let's have a street that goes this way. Oh, and uh, we'll keep the streets too wide. We'll have a street that goes like this, and it kind of does that. How's that look? Yeah, a little bit craziness. And we'll have a street that goes up here, and we'll have a street that branches off over here, and then we'll have one that goes up to here. That feels kind of town-like. In fact, why don't we... Look at that, a little connector street. So there's our streets kind of laid out for our town. So we need to put in some buildings. So the first building you should give, in my opinion, you should sew the player an inn right off the bat. So let's get to our housing layer here. And we're going to use, uh, what are we going to use for our walls in this town? This town is going to have buildings that are made out of a stone, I think. How about want to do this, this stone right here for the houses? I think that works pretty well. So what if the stone houses look like that color? That'd work. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. My bad. Whoop, put that back. Easy enough, no big problem. So what we're gonna do is we will put in some houses here. We'll use this stone color. We're gonna have a house right here. Again, we're going to go too high, and we're going to go over, and this is going to be our inn. Let's just make it fill that whole thing so we can make it big and long. And in fact, why don't we... Yeah, that's let's, let's make the inn real big. Yeah. 
I like that. That's gonna be it's gonna be a big inn. So the inn's gonna be real big. Uh, let's put a roof on our inn here real quick. Uh, let's go with that this blue. I like this blue roof. Let's do that, shall we? So let's get our centerpiece in. Get our corners in. The roof where it goes. A corner there and a corner there. Still haven't figured out how this corner works. <laughs> it's still a uh, a bit of an issue. Let's zoom in so we can see a little bit better what we're doing here. Uh, we need our top piece across here. Is this where we? Does this need to go up one more? Yeah, this needs to go up, and then we can have our upper corner. There we go. So there's going to be the roof for our inn right there. Again, put our corner piece in. We've got all of our roof tiles, so like that. Oh no. I keep having the wrong tool selected. That's always the worst. And then right here we need to put in these guys right here. This little corner seems to be the bane of my existence. I don't know why I can't figure this corner out. It's not that, is it? No. Do you put in one of these? Okay, yeah, I guess you do. Or you put in one of these. Because that just looks wonky. I don't know what to do there. Or would that be, that would be the upper corner of the roof, wouldn't it? Oh, I see what I have to do. Boom, like that, and then you would put in... Oh, no you wouldn't. Grug, why is this so hard? Why, Grug? Why? How did we solve this on Grug's house? We didn't do an angle on that side of the house. Oh no, we did one here. Okay, this had to go behind. Nope, that's for a completely different problem. Yeah, wow. I don't know. Uh, oh, we messed this up. No, we didn't. Hmm. Weird. Why did this go all the way down here? There we go. I don't know how to do this. And I know that may sound silly. But something like this roof is something that if it looks bad, I mean, just looks bad. We'll just go with that. How bad does this look? This corner should not look this bad. It's going to drive me nuts for a while. Unless... Unless you would do this... And then do this here, and then do this up. Hmm. That looks bad as well. We just will never do this kind of corner again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What are these two pieces? Aha! Got it. All right. I didn't even see those there. There's the solution. Woo! All right, cool. So we just need to fix this again real quick. Look at that. Figuring out how to use the tile set live on screen for everyone here. I know you love it. That's why you come to these videos. If not, I don't know why you come to these videos if that's not the answer why. Uh, so... I'm excited. Now we can fix that problem in future with no issues whatsoever. Uh, this needs to be this, and then up, and then that little divvy piece. There we go. There we go. We have fixed it. I like it. So we got a roof. You could overhang your roof, but nah, we'll just have it right over. So we got a roof. We need some windows in this place. What kind of windows would an inn have, do you think? I think an inn, well, first of all, an inn would have this little piece right here. Like that. Wouldn't it? Nah, let's get rid of those. 
Uh, let's see. An inn would have inviting windows like this. Like this little guy right here. Why are we go? Like this. And it would have a window right here. And it's going to have a window here. And it's going to have a window here and here. There we are. We're going to put a door event somewhere here. Uh, and it's going to be an not odd number. So that's okay. I feel like that should hang over. Like I've done this wrong. What does this look like if we do this? Yeah, we're still kind of figuring this out. No, it looks like it hangs over too much if you do that. We'll just stick with this look. I will put the door here so it's a little more symmetrical, actually. So that's fine. So we got some windows. We're going to have a door right here. That's going to be our inn. So above our door, let's put a sign for the inn itself. Uh, there are a couple here at the very top. So we'll put an inn right here. People will know that's the inn. They'll be able to go in into the inn. Cool. Uh, next up, uh, we need to do a weapon shop. And we can do these a lot quicker now that we know what we're doing. So let's put a weapon shop right here. The weapon shop is just going to be super basic. doesn't need to be anything fancy. Uh, not like our last one. Like the adventure with the inn. So we just need our corners. Centerpieces. I don't know why that looks different. I don't know why there's a break there. Don't know. Uh, we're going to need our bottom of our roof. This is going to be a fairly small building, comparatively. Whoop, wrong corner. Make sure you use the right sides so the shadows look correct. So this will just be a little square building. Other than too fancy there. Uh, we need a couple windows. Windows are important. Let's keep the style similar to what we have. Let's put a window there and a window there. And then we'll put a uh, sign right here. This is going to be an item shop. Item shops should use this little teapot. Is what that'll look like. That'll be our item shop symbol for our game. Next up, I need a weapon shop, and then I want an armor shop, and then I want over here. We're gonna put a big villa where the the head of this town lives. So we'll just need two more little buildings. Let's keep them looking the same. Uh, we'll put one right here. Let's not make them exactly the same. Okay, that. I don't want it all the way to the edge. Um, this will be a really small one. Yeah. In fact, we'll have we'll have a house or two that'll just be a citizen's house. Like, we'll have a little house there, and we'll have a little house here. These guys are just real teeny. Just so you can see my thought process on these as I'm making them. Like, just some real basic houses. I wonder if there's a way to, uh, whoops, if you can copy a section easily if you wanted to, like, just duplicate the same house over and over again. All right, so we have two little houses here. They, of course, each need a little path that goes in front of them, like that. Well, this guy does, at least. We'll do that so it looks, you know, similar. Everybody's got a full cover on the front. These houses need some little windows. There'll just be two regular houses. We'll put a little door there and put a little junk inside. Uh, up here, let's put the... Uh, weapon shop up here, and we'll put the armor shop up here. So two more buildings for that. The weapon shop, and the weapon shop will be a long guy. Uh, he'll actually go like this. 
we're going to make them real long on the inside. I have this. Oh, wrong path. There we go. And our street is too wide, so we'll do that. Get our roof on there. Yeah, I want you just can't copy paste copy pasta. Copy pasta. But you could do that and cut out a lot of time, Grug. That would be a lot easier than what you were doing. So this will be the weapon shop, and again some windows. And I think the weapon shop owner, he likes flower boxes. So Instead of the same window, we're going to use this little window. Well, not that high up in the air. He likes little flower boxes as well as his regular windows. There we go. So we'll put a door on this. This will be our weapon shop. Right there. And then we need our armor shop. We could do weapons and armor in one big shop, but let's let's go full bore on this. So right here is going to be whoop. And it's going to be another one of these crazy little buildings that we like that have these little bends in them cuz they look a little more It just looks a little more natural to have a house that's built like that. So the weapon shop's going to be huge. I mean, the armor shop's going to be huge. A huge, as they would say in a presidential fashion. No commentary. Just, just putting that out there. Uh, so this needs to go like that. And then we need to have that little divity piece. And this goes over there. And we've got our corner and the rest of this is pretty normal in fact that should be there like that then this goes across there we go we just need our bottom piece here well Messed that up. That's okay. We can fix it. We can always fix it. There we go. There's the outline for our weapon shop. Kind of gives a, a cool idea that you know we can do the direction the other way. So same thing. Some windows. Uh, let's give him some of these flower boxy windows. Just so everything doesn't look... Uh, it's too high. So it, things don't look exactly the same. And in fact... I wouldn't have the same flower box everywhere. How about some regular windows too? That looks good. And how about a window? Nah, that's fine. And then this is our armor shop. So let's get our armor icon. Bam. So we have got our basic town layout. We're going to have two little regular residential houses. We got our weapon shop. We have an armor shop, an item shop, and our inn. I don't know why this little break is here. Actually, I do know why that break is there. It's because I didn't do it as one clean one clean go, I think. So if I delete all these right here. Oh, Grug's doing something wild. If I do this and delete everything, and I do this as one big stroke, I think it gets rid of that line. Nope, it doesn't. So... Oh well, that line I guess is just a, a factor of the game. We'll just have to deal with it. Alright, so very last thing I want to do here, because we are going on a little bit of time, 20 minutes. I want to do the big manor house. It's going to be where the, the head of this village lives. So, uh, let's get rid of this little bit of street right here, because that really doesn't go anywhere. Uh, let's get rid of this little bit. Uh, let's also widen this to two. There we are. All right, so over here, his house is going to be different. It's going to be made out of brick. 
and it's going to be big. So it's going to actually have two floors. So we're going to have our first floor going to be big like this. I like that. Okay. And then we need to set up the roof here to give this a two layer effect. So we're going to use that same, same color roof though. We're not going to go wild with that. Um, actually, what we are going to do is, boop, the same thing that we've done before. No, we've got enough of that. This is going to be cool. This is going to be great, the way I've, I'm thinking of it originally. All right, so he's going to have his home like this, right? And then we're going to put in this base level. And then you've got, you know, it's, it's, it's a big square. I don't know why it is so difficult for me to draw straight lines today. Uh, this side over here, this goes up. Uh, this needs to go up one more. All right, and then we've got our sides. And we got our top. Okay, big square house, right? Nothing too exciting, nothing we haven't seen before. That doesn't look that important. But, what if we do this? What if then we went back here and we grabbed more of that brick color? And what if we did a two level high, like uh, right about here? If we did the same thing and we do a little bit of our normal jetty outness for that level. Because I just, I just like doing that. Um, and then we get the same roof. That we're used to doing. There we go. And we need our little piece there that makes that turn correct for us now that we've learned how to use that. And this needs to be only too high. Otherwise it would obscure the back roof kind of ruin our effect, I think. There we go. So now, it looks like there's a second floor on top of this, and that's where we're going to put his office on the inside. So on the front, we need our same idea. We need some windows. This is a manor house, though, so uh, I like... This is a kind of a cool window, but now nah, let's stick with these. Let's not. Oh, why do those not work? I don't know why those don't work. Well, I guess we'll have to use these windows. Uh, so we'll put some windows on this. That looks good. Some windows up here and some windows here. So it's got windows. But the other thing is this is the manor house. This is where the head of this village lives. So this road goes right in front of his house. And his door is right here. And so there's this pathway. But then we can't just have any old like no one could just walk up here. So we need to have a fence that goes around the front of the house and goes this up oh, and goes this way. Oh that's why I'm on the wrong thing. So we'll have a fence that goes like this, and then goes like this, keeping the... Oh, let's make it all the way... That was not intentional. Let's make it go all the way around the house. I swear, I can draw in a straight line. I promise you. It's... I've... I've... There we go. I'll just go a little bit slower. Maybe. Mouse control is important. There we are. Alright, so... You can tell this is an important home. I mean, look at it. It's huge. It's got this fenced-off area to it. Uh, and then we're going to put some trees and stuff in front of it. Like, there should be... There should be a tree. Is there more tree? Oh, no. There should be a statue uh, around the entrance here. Like, if I owned this place... I would have an angel statue over here, and I would have an angel statue over here, and then I would also have some kind of topiary 
going on. So why don't we have, yeah. So I would have some trees lining my, uh, okay. I didn't count spaces properly, but whatever. Uh, and then, uh, oh, how about some big trees instead? I know we're getting a little wild here with this, but why not? Let's get rid of this nonsense. Let's get rid of this nonsense since we're not a perfect grid. Why don't we put in a little tree on each side of this? And then why isn't there a big old tree right here? And then over on this side, um, there is a bunch of flowers. You know, old man Williams, he likes to, uh, he likes to garden in his spare time. You don't judge. It's his, it's his house. He can do what he wants with it. Um, just a, a good mix of these all around. You know, we've talked about what a natural type of look is. Randomness kind of makes things look natural. That's not perfectly random, but you know, it looks a little bit better. And then also we probably need, uh, like in every good RPG, there should be random pots around the, oh, we should need some more right here. Uh, let's put a downed log. No, I don't want it to look junky. Um, why don't we put a barrel right here in the corner? That'll look good. Yeah, we'll put a barrel in the corner here. And we'll add some more. Oh, what's this little scarecrow? Nah, we don't need that. Uh, we'll add uh, just some more random, random stuff, you know. Go nuts. Have fun. Don't put one thing over another, though. That looks, that doesn't look so great. And too much of the same color starts to look a little contrived. All right, there we go. So there we have stuff on the outside. And now, where are we at? 27 minutes. We got time to finish out some little extra stuff here. So that looks good. We're going to have that enter. I don't think we want anything else on the walls, just kind of a basic building. But again, around town, there should be some pots uh, for the player to look at. And even if they don't have anything in them, we'll have those there. We don't want to have just completely blank area. Anytime it's just flat green, there's really nothing happening. That doesn't look that great. So why don't we take some of this clump grass? Does this, uh, no, it doesn't tile together. Do we have any way we can mix this up a bit? Maybe not have it be so crazy? I mean, just flat green. I don't know. I can't. I don't really see anything else that we can add in to deflatinize this. Uh, let's see. Uh, we could just, of course, we could add in some trees. Just randomly put in some trees in the blank spaces. Maybe some of these big trees. Maybe there's one right here. People hang out. It's like a park. There we go. That looks more like a map. And maybe there's some of these. Uh, is there a bush? Is there a little bush somewhere we can get? Nothing crazy. Uh, why don't we put some vines on the side of a house here? Like one right there. Yeah. yeah. That looks good. Maybe a little bit going up the side of that house. Maybe a little bit of this. Oh, we can go crazy now. Maybe there are some dead vines across the front of this. Just to add some character to it. Not every building needs to have a vine. Just those two will work. And, oh, outside of the, the store here, why don't we have a little, some boxes of carrots and potions and stuff. Yeah, that looks good. And then outside the weapon store, anything? Nah, nothing special outside the weapon store. That looks good. How about if we had a little log, like, laying around every once in a while? You know, just where some logs fell down. Oh, actually, instead we should have a tree stump every once in a while. Where they cut down a tree, they were going to build a house, but they didn't. Uh, again, we're just adding adding some details to make the map not just look like a big 
empty empty space cuz if it just looks empty and flat that's what it looks like I know that sentence sounds normal or not that great but there is a big difference between a filled in grassy area and a blank area of just the tile because that's kind of our overworld tile anyways alright so I like that that looks good uh, we're gonna need to add in the interiors to all these buildings that's gonna take a minute uh, let me go ahead though and let's put Grug right here well right here like he's walking into town uh, whoop. let's go ahead and test it so here's the town of Deacon you come in and you see that there's the inn which you'll be able to enter over here we have the item shop a couple little houses we have the weapon shop the armor shop and then you see this monstrosity and you go oh my goodness who lives here it must be someone important and then you'll enter that's great okay so the basic layout for Deacon is done uh, the last steps, of course, as you know, to finish this up, overworld, we need to start a quick transition to transfer the player to the town of Deacon. We'll put him right here. Okay, and we want him to face up. And then same thing. We will control C, control V, that guy. And then in the town of Deacon, out here, we will do a quick transfer from the town of Deacon to the overworld. And we'll put people right here if they step on the left hand one. That sounds good. Facing down. And then a new event for a transfer to here facing down all right so one last little test so we can we can leave town we can get out here oh I forgot we could we could get in fights that's fine we can enter town, we can leave town, we can enter town. Oh, I should change that to be on that side, just because that's going to bug me. So very last one is overworld, delete, overworld, quick, quick transfer to town of Deacon right here and facing up. All right. Let's test that. All right, so we have outside on the right, inside on the left, outside on the left, inside on the right. Perfect. All right, things are getting there. So we have this first town for Grug to check out. Again, look at all that stuff on the ground. It just looks better. I like that big tree. We're going to put something in that barrel. We're going to put some stuff inside of those pots for the player to find. Um, we may even just put some that are empty. Why not? We do need to change the background music. So let's get a... Oh, I like those there. This looks like an RPG town. I'm excited. All right, one last step. Town of Deacon. Uh, we need to give you some background music. Uh, what's the town... okay I don't know there we go that is the town of Deacon's theme song all right 
So when you're on the Town of Deacon, you get that. When you leave, you get our overworld music. Alright, folks. Well, what that leaves us with is next time designing the inside of all these buildings. Oh my goodness gracious. That is going to take us probably... I'm going to guess that's going to be like three episodes, maybe two episodes, to design the inside of everything. Um, so that'll be going on in the next... Like maybe maybe four episodes with this nonsense. Uh, we'll do that in the next episode of Gaming and Grub. We'll get that process started. Uh, and then, once we've designed the interiors, we will then add all of our townspeople. And once we have all the townspeople, we can put in our quest giver in this big house who's going to tell the player where he needs to go. And that will wrap up the Town of Deacon. So it's going to be a couple episodes, but we're able to do things a lot faster. Look how fast that we were able to put this together, this giant town, all in one episode. And remember, it took us forever just to make this little guy compared to what we did here. So we are learning how to do things faster and better every episode. So folks, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends, and as always, we hope to see you soon.